It is a creature that you never want to come across, but so far this year, more than 100 people have been bitten by rattlesnakes in Arizona. And the cost of life-saving treatment is a lot more expensive than you might think. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly spoke with Venom experts today and joins us live in South Phoenix with why the cost is so high. Chase? Creepy, when the sun goes down and things cool off, that's when rattlesnakes become active. But even during the day, if you're on a hiking trail like where we are now, you may come across a few. But the cost to get that life-saving anti-venom if you get bit by a rattlesnake is also going to hurt. It's a sound you never want to hear. This is a western diamondback rattlesnake. One you should calmly back away from whether you're out hiking or hanging out in your backyard. We get these in people's yards all around the Phoenix area. Kale Morris is the venom manager at the Phoenix Herpetological Society. There are 13 species of rattlesnake in Arizona. We have more than any other state. He deals with these dangerous reptiles every day. I've never been bit by a venomous snake. Wow. So, but I try really, really hard not to. Others aren't so lucky. So far this year, Banner Health reports more than 100 people have been bitten by a rattlesnake. And when that happens, Morris says there's just one solution. The only way that you can get better from a rattlesnake bite is antivenom, and you can only get that at the hospitals. He says the longer you wait, the more permanent damage is done to your body. But getting the antivenom is more expensive than you may think. Well, I've seen people show me their bills and it's been as much as fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. And that's just for one vial, which typically isn't enough. You can have a few vials, you can have up to 40 vials. It depends on the severity of the bite. And when you go through multiple life-saving vials, that cost can become extreme. According to a previous 12 News report with the Arizona Poison and Drug Information Center, the average cost to treat a rattlesnake bite at a hospital is $100,000. That's because Morris says it takes a lot of time and money to make. So the next time you're out and think it may be a good idea to get closer to this sound, know that it won't just put your life in danger, but also your wallet. Chase, I had no idea it was that expensive if you're bitten. And let's face it, if you are, it's not like you have a choice. You have to have the anti-venom, as you heard in your story. Does health insurance help cover the cost at all? Well, Mark, it depends. Some health care providers, some insurance companies actually have specific policies for rattlesnake bites. And if you're covered, you'll only pay a fraction of that potential $100,000 cost. But if you really do need a lot of vials, it may not cover all of those expenses. So our recommendation is if you go hiking a lot or you do live in a desert area, you're definitely going to want to reach out to your insurance company to find out if you are covered, if this situation ever happens to you. Yeah, the things that you don't even think about. All right, thanks so much, Chase.